James Cosgrave farms just outside Enfield in County Mead with his son James Jr. Running a suckler operation alongside the sheep enterprise, James noted that farmers have been faced with plenty of additional costs over the last few months. This year was the worst year we ever, ever had. In my lifetime, was the worst year we ever had because we had, this time last year, it was wet, very, very wet. We had to put in the cattle early last year. Uh, and we thought this time last year as well as that we thought we wouldn't make any have to make any silage in 2018 we had that much of it but as it turned out we just barely had enough to get us out and then come the spring it was so wet and then it was so cold and then we had the snow and we had to put in the, le the sheep into the shed in the snow and they were worse off in the shed than they were outside at the time because there was drifts in the shed and then we had about a f three weeks or a month of normal sort of weather in, the, in, in May and the grass was growing great, everything looked great. And then come the drought and it was, we, we used to be watching the rain, watching it and it never came. With the result that we had to put in the cattle, they didn't thrive as well, we had to put them in and it has cost an awful lot of money to keep them in, in feed at the minute, you know. And I don't think that at the way the price of the beef is dropping, I don't think the cattle or I don't doubt if they're marking time. That's about all that we'd have to go. Because there's no reason for, for, for the price drop that's going on. James stressed that it is not sustainable for beef farmers to continue with prices where they are. No, it's not viable. It's not viable at all. And only for the we're hanging in, hanging in and hoping for a good day and hoping that we get the single farm payment in time. Other than that, it's not viable at all. It's not. The beef sector is getting left behind. The meat industry is, is has reneged on everything. That the, the dairy sector, if you look at it, they've got all the help. The dairies have helped them out as much as ever they possibly could. And good luck to them. Great, great to see them. But the beef fellas, they've done the very opposite. They went about cleaning us. But the very minute the price dropped, the price of feed went up, and they're still thinking about that. Now still satisfied. They want to still cut it more. I don't think after a while, the cattle won't be there. Because farmers can't stake this. He also noted that the mar trade has suffered due to fodder shortages. The trade in the marts is not very good because farmers haven't got feed. And you can't, ex you can't expect to farmers to be buying cattle if there's no feed. And, or have to buy expensive feed. So it's, 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 it's not going to be viable. James believes the beef industry needs to show more support to farmers. Or face losing them to other sectors. Why should... Uh, the beef farmers have to discontinue what they're doing all their lives just as, and give it to somebody else. I, I think that it has to be an, an industry that should be able to stand on its own two feet. And it has stood on it for a long, long time. You know, there was more money in it 40, 50 years ago than there is now. The near future doesn't fill James with much hope either. It, beef needs to be five euros a kilo. And I, I can't see that happening now.